Hey, what's going on, guys? The Horror Man back on the 12 Days of Christmas with my review of Bloodbeat. Of a fright. Christmas. Bloodbeat is a 1983 Christmas slasher film, and I actually already reviewed it during the Slashback Challenge a few years back for Christmas in July week. In that video, I showed my ultra-rare VHS release of Bloodbeat, but since I already showed that, I decided to go with the Vinegar Syndrome Blu-ray DVD combo pack for this review. This movie is absolutely wild. It is probably one of the weirdest slasher films you'll ever see. That probably accounts for the low 4.6 rating out of 10 on IMDb. Despite that, though, there are a lot of fans of this one. In fact, at one point, it was one of Vinegar Syndrome's best-selling titles. I totally get it, because I'm one of those big fans. I love Bloodbeat. Filmed on location in rural Wisconsin, a guy named Ted brings his new girlfriend Sarah home for Christmas to meet his family. There's his clairvoyant mother Kathy, who spends much of her time painting her visions, her live-in boyfriend Gary, who she refuses to marry, Ted's sister Dolly, who has also returned home for the Christmas holiday, and their uncle Pete. Living in rural Wisconsin, the family, along with the other locals, love hunting. Sarah, though, is not so fond of it. Upon arriving and meeting Kathy, Sarah gets a bad vibe from her new boyfriend's mother. And Kathy senses the same negative vibe from Sarah. Ted immediately tries getting it in, despite Sarah's reluctance. And we do get some nudity in the scene. But ultimately, Ted ends up spending the night playing Monopoly with Dolly by the Christmas tree. While the siblings play their game, Sarah sleeps upstairs until she is awakened. She finds an old trunk in the bedroom, and inside is a samurai suit and a samurai sword. But when Ted comes in to check on Sarah, he informs her that there is no trunk in the room and no sword in the house. Despite this, someone wearing the samurai suit begins killing off victims in the area, one by one with the samurai sword. They are slashed and stabbed and brutally murdered. And the entire time, Sarah feels it. No, literally feels it. And her body's response is orgasmic. I am not making this up. I told you, Bloodbeat is wild. That's not even the half of it, though. What happens from here, I won't spoil. Bloodbeat truly might be the most bizarre slasher film I've ever seen. That's exactly what keeps me coming back to it, though. I think about this movie a lot. First and foremost, I love the look of the killer. How many samurai slasher films have we gotten? Seriously, how many? Because if I've missed any, I definitely need to check them out. The setting is perfect for authenticity. I love that Bloodbeat is set on Christmas. Did it have to be? No, but I'm glad they went with that. It really could have been any family gathering, but I guess Christmas makes the most sense. I will never not enjoy seeing Christmas decorations in a slasher film. We get that nudity from Sarah I mentioned earlier, and then that orgasmic scene after that. Later still, we get a sex scene between her and Ted. And that's pretty crazy itself. I really love the way it's shot, though. It's artistic and beautiful, despite being, and I'll say it again, extremely bizarre. Bloodbeat flies off the rails in the third act. It almost makes you want to scratch your head and ask, what am I watching? It's like you're imagining it. A movie you dreamt up that doesn't really exist. But it does. There is no other slasher film I can think of quite like Bloodbeat. Like I said, though, that's what keeps me coming back to it. It is just so random in the best way possible. It dares to be different, and in my opinion, it succeeds. This is a movie that should be experienced by all horror fans at least once, especially if you're a fan of Christmas slashers. 
Have you seen Bloodbeat? If so, what do you think of it? Comment below and let me know. Please be sure to check back tomorrow to see what I review next for the 12 Days of Christmas. Thanks for watching, guys. Hit that thumbs up and be kind. Subscribe.